London's Olympia Krakis and her indie folk orchestra are heading to Toronto for the North by Northeast Showcase. The recent Jack Richardson Music Award winner is earning fans around the world. Today, Janice Self talked to her in rehearsal for Wednesday's free noon hour concert at Fanshawe College. <laughs> Alinka Krakus and the Autumn Lovers are poised for a worldwide audience. A global record deal and a possible nomination for the prestigious Polaris Prize are in the near future for the PhD English student turned full-time musician. We shape our lives with music in a lot of ways. Krakus's life has been shaped by her memories of communist Poland, themes of social injustice, and the effect poverty has on families. Watch You know, when we were kids, we were calling back home to our family in Poland and talking to cousins who were waiting in bread lines. That contrast with the life her family enjoys now in Canada is part of the dark and light of her songs, catchy melodies that deal with serious subjects. And I think that's one of the things that I really enjoy about Eastern European tradition and that I keep trying to um, connect to is the way in which some of the most difficult moments um, in people's lives are still brought into some kind of form of celebration. <laughs> What distinguishes Alenka's sound is the merge of musical influences, from the music that she grew up with in Poland to classical, pop, and country, and all of it she hears in her head when she's writing. I see them in blocks, I mean I see them in like crescendos and decrescendos and like um, a lot of the instruments kind of having their moments and, kind of, and then kind of falling back and coming forward. And she pictures some songs with classical cello and violin. And others more mysterious. Timeless songs that leave a lasting impression. Janice Solf, A News.